Hey, what's going on, everyone? Okay, so in that last episode, we we got the colors working over here. We fixed a couple of bugs so that you can't keep pressing zero, and uh, it it actually like resets. So obviously the clear works now, but also it says zero right here. But if we press two or three or whatever, it says zero. When we press one, it just overwrites that number. So we're, we've got some of the reset working. Uh, obviously, we can see when I'm clearing, it's well, like all clear, for example, isn't uh, isn't resetting the operator. So we might want to do that as well. Uh, but let's first actually get some math going. So what I like to do is 2 plus 3. Well, we didn't reset there equals and we're not we're not resetting and we're not displaying any results so let's get that piece working first okay so we probably don't need this screen anymore we'll just work with one big just kind of work with one big screen let me actually yeah, yeah that's fine okay because i have all my outlets right here so everything should be good um okay so if we click on an operator, there's a couple of things that we need to do. Let's let's look at that again. So if I click two, and then I click on an operator, well, I probably want to reset at that point, right? I've decided that I'm done with whatever this number is. So let's say I do 23 minus, and then I go and I click nine, it should reset at that point. But we also need to save the 23. So there's two things we need to do. We need to save the old number and reset for the new number. Okay, so let's do that. So we need something that is our uh, saved value. This is gonna be a double because we know we're working with decimal point numbers. We're not just working with integers. So I'll just mark this as a double for 0, 0.0, okay? So we know we wanna save that. So when I click on an operator, well, I know where we're going. So, but I want to do it. I want to do it one one step at a time. So when I click on an operator, uh, let's say should reset, but then also, oh, so, sorry, should reset equals true, and then also I need to get that value. So if let value equals uh, oh sorry no I'm not I'm not doing the sender I'm taking what do I need to save I need to save what's currently in the display string so display string this should just be a number so I'm gonna I'm going to do what we call casting, or I'm just converting. So if let value equals double, I'm going to take this display string, which is a string, and turn it into a double. But that could fail. Like if if that string, the, the compiler doesn't know, but if that string said mat, I can't convert that to a double. So that's not going to work. Um, but in our case, because we are controlling what's in there based on those buttons, it's going to yeah, right. We know that it's going to work, but just in case, we want to make sure that uh, we we want to make sure that we like again because this returns an optional. We don't want to use that value until we know that it's saved. So now I'm going to say my saved value equals value. Okay. So when I click on an operator, I'm going to reset. I'm going to tell it that it needs to reset. I'm going to save that value. And then we'll reset all the colors, and then yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, okay, so let's let's see what this looks like. So I did kind of those those roughly I did those things that I said. So let's make sure it's clear. So if I do two plus six, okay, well that that reset, so that's good. And then equals, well okay, so the equals isn't working right now. What I actually need to do is, let's say, let's say I do, let's clear everything, two plus six. Oh, 
at what I want to do here. Well, at that point, it's too late. So I should be able to do like two, two plus, oh no, actually I meant minus six. Okay. There's a couple of different bugs that we have going on. Let's deal with that equal sign first. The equals is actually a slightly different operator if you think about it, right? Uh, equals kind of says, we still are we still are resetting and that's fine but the equals is really kind of um, saying okay now now process now process the values okay so let's let's change this so i'm going to say if that sender is the equal button i need to do something kind of different else I'll do I'll do that other piece, okay. Uh, okay. So what do I need to do here? Well, I probably need to process those the operation. So I'm going to process that operation. What does that look like? Well, we'll just we'll do it one step at a time. But that is definitely what I need to do process that operation, and I probably need to uh, clear the buttons, right? So I need to reset the colors. What does this process operation look like? Well, let's do it just one step at a time. So if add button dot background color equals on color. So this is, this is gonna be, like I said, there's there's different ways that we could process this because we would have to save, like whenever we click an operator, we'd have to save the value of that text. And then when we go to process it, we would have to say, well, was it the plus sign or the multiplication sign or whatever? But since we're already saving the operator background color, we can actually just use that. We know which one is on based on that background color, okay? So if add button, has the background color of on, then I'm gonna say my display string equals, no, cause I have to, I'm not appending anything. I have to reset. I'm just gonna do that math here, okay? Actually, I need, so I need to add something. So it's gonna be something like value plus saved value. Okay, but I don't have any actual value here. So I'm gonna do a guard statement. So since I'm processing, I have to process what's in that display string right now. Guard let value equal, what is it? Display string, else return, right? If there's nothing, if for whatever reason we can't get this number, that means there's nothing to process. Okay. That shouldn't be the case, but we just, we do have to, Pay attention, we have to worry about that. Okay, so now we have a value, that should be good. Okay, and then we're gonna fill this out a little bit more, but display label equals display string. So if we click the equal button, we're gonna process that operation, which sets the displays, and then we're gonna reset the colors. Let's take a look, see what that does. Okay, so make sure everything's cleared. I don't know why I do that. It should be cleared, it just started. So two plus five equals seven. Okay, nice. What if I have seven plus two equals nine? Okay, that's good. So now whenever I click one of these, right, nine, divided by three. Oh, of course I don't have divide. Well, I just messed everything up, but yeah. So we can imagine that that would have worked, right? So I can, I can just keep adding one plus two plus five. Is that gonna work? No. So one plus, right now I have to hit equal every time. Two equals three. And then two plus three or equals six. Six plus four equals 10. It might be cool if I could do like one plus two and then plus, so it, 
So if I do an operation, it would be cool if it processes it as I go. So if I click some, we can, we can do that in a little bit. That's another thing, that's another like improvement we can do. For now, let's get these other operators going. Okay, so other operators are just as easy. It is really just else if, what is it, subtract. Copy this. And we're just subtracting now. Okay, that is all of those. Then for multiplication, we just need to make sure that we line up our symbols. So, okay, so this times that, this divided by that. Okay. So all of those should be working now. Let's run it again. So four plus what, five equals nine divided by three equals, okay, so there's clearly a bug there. What happened with my divide? Oh, am I doing it backwards? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it backwards, right? So if I do nine divided by three, there's nothing saved right there at this point. So if, if we look here, I'm doing saved value divided by, I'm doing value divided by saved value. And that's that's incorrect, right? So for this one, it actually matters. Saved value divided by value, right? I just I had my I had my order wrong, which means I have the order wrong for subtraction as well. Saved value minus value. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so the order of the order of those numbers matters because that's how calculators work. So now if I do nine divided by three, we get three. That's good, right? Uh, four minus two equals two. That's what we would get. We have this extra zero here. Maybe I don't like that. So that's something we can fix. Uh, right now our negative values isn't working. That's not working. The decimal place isn't working. So we still have some functionality that isn't working. Um, maybe when we, oh yeah. When we do all clear, how do we want to do it? When we do all clear, we should probably reset this this button as well. Two plus three equals, and probably when we hit equals, we should reset. I thought we were resetting that color. Let's take a look at that first. Reset operator colors. Am I not doing that? I am doing, equals off. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saved, I saved this for later and uh, I forgot about it right now. So these, these two things should actually just be up in here, right? So I'm going to put this, I purposely didn't put them there at first, but look, we just, we found that bug and we solved that bug. Okay. So if we hit equal, we are going to reset the operator colors and we don't want to reset the equal button or we don't want to turn on the equal button. But in the other case, in the case of where we hit any of the other operators, we want to reset all the colors and then we want to change that background color. So let's look, let's look at that again. Okay, so now two plus three equals five. That's perfect. Okay, two plus two plus five, that's what I'd like it to do. Yeah, that doesn't work yet. So we'll we'll get something like that going. Uh, next, well, really quick, because it shouldn't be, shouldn't be that difficult. If we click all clear, then, well, there's, so there, there's two things. Uh, it's kind of being, kind of becoming a longer video, but 
uh, if we do clear, so if I do something like two plus, let's say nine, I should be able to clear, but I don't want to clear that saved value, right? So I still want to do two plus, let's again, let's say I did like two plus 56. Whoops, I, I only meant to do five. So I'd like to be able to clear that and then it should sit, still say two plus and I can just do five and equal seven. That's what I'd like to do. Uh, but all clear should clear that back background number and clear the operator. So right now it's not it's not clearing that. So those are pretty pretty easy. So still should reset. Uh, so if I do all clear, that means saved value equals zero. And then yeah, then I also want to reset those operator colors but if i just click this like again if it's two plus five and then i make a, a i mistype i want it to keep remember the two plus and then just clear that other value okay so let's try that again so two plus five equals seven two plus 56 whoops so I'm going to clear that and then just do five equals seven. Okay. 23 plus 45. Whoops. Clear that. I just want to do four should equal 27. But if I click that all clear two plus 56. Oh, so I'm going to clear that. Notice it cleared this. And if I just try to do plus five, it's still just five. Okay. So we're getting closer, we, you know, still some things, maybe I'd like to get rid of that zero. We still have that issue where if we have too many numbers, it gives me this ellipses. I just don't really like that. Maybe we can do something different about that. Um, for now, we're gonna fix some of those, but uh, for now, that's the end of this video.